Okay, second step. Um, right, this is just, uh, this is raw. So what I did here, I basically transferred all this data as it is um, from the names to the subheadings uh, to the numbers here uh, as well as average, maximum and minimum to our excel spreadsheets right so this is how it's appearing right now if 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 you also just type in uh all the data that's that's in this microsoft word documents if you just type in if you just type it into your uh, excel spreadsheets it's also gonna appear something like this right if you may notice I check that some names are cut out like Nuntlantla here or Rabonte as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how you can fix that. Yeah. Uh, so first thing that you're gonna do here is let's work this. Here, yeah, same name, name, and total are appearing in a diagonal form, right? They are slanted, they are in 45 degrees. Uh, to do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight surname and name. Go to your home tab, right? Home tab, there we are, and we call this alignment, right? There's your alignment group. Gonna click on that arrow, and notice that you have a, a white or a compass or whatever you can call this. There are two ways you can uh, you can do this. Either you can just click over there, you check. If I click, um, you you notice that the text here has changed and now it's appearing the way we want it to, right? That's the first way you can do it. The second way you can do it is uh, you go to that zero there by degrees and you cancel it out and type in forty five, right? And Voila, you check, and you're gonna do the same for the total. Uh, 45. Hush. Okay, that was alignment. Second thing I want to show you is here on column A on our on our word document they have numbers from 1 to 12 on our excel spreadsheet it is empty okay um please don't be fooled by the numbers that are appearing here these numbers won't appear when you're trying to print out the, the spreadsheet and also these A, B, C, these letters here of your columns, they also won't appear. So these ones here, you, you've got to type them in. These numbers here from 1 to 12, you've got to type them in by hand. And I'm going to show you an easy or quick, quick way to do that. So for the first person, with Joseph Lee, you're going to, that's the first person, right? You're going to type in one. The second person, the, uh, it's Cindy Sutherland. That's the second person too, right? And what you do is firstly, you're going to highlight, right? There, it's, it's highlighted now. Let me do it again. One, two, written, and then just highlight. And then, um, if you notice carefully, there is, there is a... There's a, 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 a small square, a small green square uh, on the bottom right corner. If you take your cursor and place it on top of that square, it's going to change from a thick white cross to a slim or a thin black cross, right? And you click and drag, right? There you go. 1 to 12. I only wrote one or two, but now I have auto filled the rest of them. Yeah, that's that's what we call this, right? We're also gonna use it when we are doing our formulas and our functions 
it makes life very easy and fast right um it's usually helpful when you are doing an uh, a test and the good news is that you will not be penalized for using autofill in fact it is encouraged because it makes life fast it makes your work fast right so now you got your numbers uh, 1 to 12 okay uh third thing i want us to do is uh these names here i'm telling you in sutherland are not supposed to be cut right so yeah now they, they, they're supposed to like appear like the entire word like like everything else they are, they're supposed to appear full in jay valley guys so what you do is you take your cursor and place it on the line that you want to change right on top of the line exactly on top of the line like right at the, at the top between between the letters so let me do it again for this one here i'm gonna take my cursor and put it between oc no not d right and you can drag it slightly if you, if you move it over here that's what's gonna happen but that's not what you wanna do so we're gonna move it slightly to the right so no not appears fully now i'm gonna it's appearing right now right okay uh so you use the same use the same uh you use the same method for also these these lines the these columns you see these columns are appearing like smaller than the rest about between the, the the two columns next to total and the first column as well so let's fix that real quick before we get to our functions as well and right okay um you might wanna uh you see that the, the numbers the numbers here are at the center all the numbers here is the center and my ones are not at the center they are all on the right including the ones that you have here in our subheadings to fix that you must highlight first right that is highlighted and you go to um you go to these icons here uh there's right alignment left and you want to put it at the center so you're gonna click on center and wash 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 okay so yeah right what we're gonna do now is the important look at the squares and what i've just showed you uh basic injury um it's important because yeah, it, 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 it makes your work look better and it's gonna it's it's gonna be important for these assignments but it's not the most important thing the most important thing for these assignments for 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 the purposes of this module um and or microsoft excel is that you know how to use formulas and functions right you may know all everything that we that, that i've showed that i've showed you but if you don't know your formulas it's it's, it's gonna be a problem so we're gonna do the first formula we're gonna do the formula for a total total sum the total is um a, a, the answer that you get after adding numbers so what we're doing here is we are getting the total um that was acquired by joseph lee after writing the five test right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in the formula now every time you're typing in a formula you start by typing in the equals to sign right which is what i've just done there um so it's gonna be equals to sum there is no total there is sum right so you go equals to sum type it in equals to sum there is the the there are options they are appearing and we're not looking for the rest of them we're looking for the first one sum and so you're gonna go and double click 
double click right after double clicking it's gonna it's gonna have um it's gonna have an open bracket when you see that open bracket you go and highlight the numbers that you want to calculate that's gonna be from column d to column h so yeah about Notice that I did not highlight column C or column I, specifically the columns or the cells that contain the numbers that you want to calculate. So that's going to be from D to H. Um, sum is our sum will be calculating from D2 to H2, right? So if you got it like that, you can just press on enter and your answer will appear as I've just done there, right? So, uh, the, the total that Joseph Lee acquired was 224. Let's do that formula one more time. Equals to sum, double click, highlight, enter. Okay? After you have, if, if you feel like you, you, you now know the formula, you can use autofill if you do not know the formula do not use autofill because well autofill is a bit of a lazy method to be honest right if you don't know the formula and you use autofill like the, the whole time you're gonna forget your stuff and really you're gonna have a problem in the test okay so i've just used autofill there and now we got the sums of all our people Let's do the same for average. We said every time you're doing a, what, you're typing in a, a formula, you start by equal sign. So it's going to be equal to, and now we want to calculate the average of U test one, right? Not a, a, an average of one person, the average that the, the whole group got for the first test. So you're going to be highlighting all the data that you got on the first test notice that i did not highlight the first row which contains number one because you know? that is that is a subheading if you highlight that your your, your answer is going to appear wrong it's going to come out wrong okay so i, I highlighted from from uh, 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 the second row to the to to row 18 you know? Right now we got our formula right, and wrong. The formula was not right. Why? Because I did not type in average equals to A V E. There's average appearing. Double click. Now we can highlight. Right. Enter. There you go. We're gonna do the formula for average one more time equals to AVE. Double click on average, highlight. Now it's the average for test two. If you make an error while trying to highlight, you can always cancel as I've just done the. Uh, Equals to AVE average. You can also use auto fill even here to write. Now, what's happening with my computer? Just highlight that. There you go. Enter. Okay. Now a formula here at the top. If you're not sure about your formula, if you're not sure about your answer, just click on that answer and your formula will appear here. So